basically this is the complete model of go-kart vehicle okay and in this vehicle there are a lot of components that you can really see and if i talk about some of the components like this is the front tire and this is the front bearing and this is the front knuckle and this is the rim and this is the hub and this is the guys abc point like acceleration brake and clutch points and you can see that there is a uh, nut bolt assembly and uh, it's a main frame and uh, it is the it is you can say that uh, it is the uh, uh, top nuts also and this is the tie rod and this is the steering system also and this is the exhaust system so this is the disc brake and this is the caliper and this is the hub assembly a disc hub and this is the chain sprocket mechanism and you can see that this is the chain sprocket hub and this is the nut bolt assembly and the complete power transmission system you can see that from the engine to the rear wheels and the vehicle will forward to the uh, vehicle will move to the forward and this is the guys uh, fuel drain So first, we will export this hub in uh, part form and then we will assign some format in ANSYS format like IGES format and STEP format and in this format we can simulate the component also. So guys for that we have to just save this component in IGES format. So save as and uh, desktop and uh, new simulation and disk hub then IGES format. Okay, then save it. Now we will import this component in ANSYS Workbench. So, so first we will drag the uh, strength, uh, like uh, we will drag the uh, steady state structure, uh, steady state structure problems. So now we just have to solve this problem and uh, the answers will create some uh, scripting files and calculate the, the value of stress and strain also. So the calculation is almost complete so we have to calculate, calculate some total deformation and guys here we can see that uh, we can see that uh, the total deformation value is like uh, the maximum value is 7.3947 e to the power minus 006 mm okay and we have to create a calculate here is like two scale if you calculate from the two scale it will create the values and if you have to some like check like where is my maximum value and where is my minimum value so the value of uh, total deformation will maximum on this particular phase where the uh, like the shaft is uh, connected and if we have to check some stress value so the component will uh, the, so component will start uh, failure failure from here. Uh, if we smooth this area and uh, if we assign some value of stress here and some value of stress is here and here, we can see that guys the value of stress will basically uh, engaging from here. So the my component will start failure from this what uh, from this uh, area. So for that purpose we have to assign some maximum fillets from here so we have to assign some fillets and uh, like if we have to calculate some uh, reaction force so uh, like this is the volume deformation and this is the strain energy this is the stress and uh, 
if we have to calculate like some Mm. Uh, like we have to like uh, see some uh, stress so guys this is the video this was the video here we can here we'll uh, here we have we'll have to learn like uh, how we can calculate some courses and a particular book art component and this is the procedure that we can easily calculate the whole book art body simulation and we can create some complete book art and and this is the static part we can we can simulate like some days breaks and abc points like steering system we can simulate all the things in ansys workbench also and um, the main part is that like we have to calculate some uh, aerodynamic drags and aerodynamic lift force and uh, this is the module from different from the uh, strength of material and thermal also we can, we can calculate these kind of things in ansys uh, fluent and as a cfx also and we can assign some uh, dynamic mesh and we can assign some meshes values and we can, we can create some we can generate some reports and we can visualize the data and yeah we can do easily simulate for the whole assembly in ansys worldwide so guys thank you for watching this video